If you want to get out of debt as fast as humanly possible, I highly recommend a debt snowball spreadsheet. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly step by step how to make your own debt snowball spreadsheet in either Excel or Google Sheets. Before you start typing stuff into your spreadsheet and actually building this, it's going to be really helpful to have your debt information handy. So you're going to want to know the totals of each of your different debts and your interest rates. If you know those two things, you should be good to go to set up your debt snowball spreadsheet today. All right, the first thing that we're gonna to need to set up across the top is our payments and the names of our loan. So I'm going to start in cell two and type payment, and I'm gonna call this loan A. And it has a 3.3% interest rate. I'm gonna repeat that same thing for payment, because each of these payment columns is gonna represent the minimum payment or how much you're choosing to pay for each of these loans. I'm gonna set this up with three different debts, um, of varying interest rates and varying amounts. Loan B is gonna be 5% interest. Loan C is gonna be 4%. So you wanna set yours up just like I have. So if you wanna write minimum payment here, instead of payment, you can do that. But the name of your loan, it could be like the loan company that you have from, if it's a student loan, if it's a credit card, the name of the credit card is fine. And then the interest rate, because we are gonna need the interest rate. All right, next up, underneath the name of the loan, we're gonna write your current total balance as of right now. So the numbers I'm making up for this, actually these are really close to the debts we had when we started our debt snowball spreadsheet. This one's gonna be 6,000 and loan C is gonna be 15,000. Okay, and we are gonna want to, these to be currency. So all of these, all the way down, I'm actually just gonna do highlight these. Um, I like numbers to come up as currency, so we're going to make sure we highlight those and change them to currency. I'm going to center them. Some of this is just formatting stuff that help make it easier to read. All right, on this one, our minimum payment is gonna be $100. This one, our minimum payment is gonna be $85. And this minimum payment is gonna be $130. Next step of this is going to be allocating our months of like when you're setting this up. So right now, I'm making this in January of 23. And then you've gotta put your months in. Okay, I do have a shortened formula that is going to help you do this so you can just kind of drag it down. And so I'm gonna type that in. If you want to use it, you can. I think it's easier than typing each of these individually. So if I type equals, type in E date, I'm gonna click on cell A3, a comma, and then a one. And what this is going to do is going to essentially add one month to each of the boxes below it. So I should just be able to drag this down for a while. And, oh, it didn't work the way I wanted it to. All right, I think I know why. Um, we do have to do some formatting with the date, which is annoying, um, but will help you in the long run. So I'm going to uh, do that really quick. Actually, I'm gonna go up to format our number. We're gonna do a custom date and time. And I want it to be month and year. So that there's a little drop down and year apply. All right, so I'm going to try this again, make this whole one month and year. Sorry, sometimes you start doing stuff and you realize you need to do formatting. Okay, so we're gonna apply that to all of those. Oh, and then it automatically did it. Sweet, look at that. So we've got January to December 23, January through December 24. All right, and I've got this through, we'll go one more down, December of 2027. Okay, that's most of the formatting we're gonna have to do. Now we're gonna have to do a little bit of math. So this payment, we can actually drag this all the way down because if this is a minimum payment, this is gonna be every single month, you're gonna make at least this payment. Okay, and if you just click on each of these, that little blue square, it should allow you to drag it down. I'm just gonna drag all these down until the bottom of my dates that I've got listed. All right, and now we're, this is where the math is gonna come in. We need to calculate our interest rate, or our interest that we're gonna pay every month. And the method I'm going to show you is going to give you a good approximate interest rate that you're gonna pay approximately every month on each of your loans. So. What that is gonna look like, we're gonna go down and hit another formula, equals. We are going to take our total loan amount, so we're gonna click in that cell. We're gonna subtract our minimum payment. 
and we're going to close that parenthesis. And now we're going to need to do a little, bit, a little bit of math. What we're going to do is we're going to multiply our interest rate times our loan amount. So in this case, I'm just going to grab my phone here. You can do the same thing for yours. I'm going to take my 1500 and multiply it by the interest rate, which is 3.3. But as a decimal, we have to change from percent to a decimal. So it's going to be times 0 0.033. And then we're going to divide that by 12. Okay, so that's going to give us a average interest amount per month of about $4.12. And so then we're going to add back in this formula for 12. And so that is going to give me my approximate how much it would be after paying one month. And so after the minimum payment and then adding in the interest rate. So then what I want to do is I just want to take this same formula. If I click this box, it's going to do that formula every single month. And we want to do that until we get to negative, which is right here. Cool. That means that right here in April of 2024, we will have paid this off. That's awesome. Now I'm going to repeat that same formula over here. We're going to hit equals, left parenthesis, our loan amount minus our minimum payment. And we're going to do add back in that interest. So this is going to be 6,000 times 0 0.05 equals 300. And we're going to divide that by 12 to get it monthly. So this is going to be adding approximately $25 back on in interest every single month. So we can see that this is a higher interest rate on a higher amount. So I'm going to have to add more interest or pay more in interest. And you can see this loan balance is going down a lot slower than the last one. And we can even get to here and not quite be done with it. All you'd have to do is just really dr drag both of these numbers down until it gets to a point where that would be paid off. Looks like we're not quite there yet. This one is a bugger. Holy cow. We're getting there, everybody. We're getting there. All right, we finally got there. We got it right to zero, way down here. And what you do, because this is far in the future, you just drag, keep dragging this down uh, until you get to the correct year, month and year to go with that. Okay, so it looks like April of 2031 is when that one would be paid off. All right, and then we're gonna repeat this one more time. All right, so that's the essence of how you make a decimal ball spreadsheet. And one thing I would do is I would do a couple formatting things. I'm going to freeze the first row. Um, and then if you had more loans, like D, C, D, E, F, G, you just add those on here and do the exact same thing to get set up. But then I wanna show you once you've got the basic setup, how the debt snowball works, because the principle of the debt snowball spreadsheet is you're going to pay off your minimum smallest debt first. And then once that is paid off, you're going to roll over that minimum payment into your next loan to accelerate the debt repayment process. And so the way you do that on your debt snowball spreadsheet is once you get to here, this $100, we no longer have to pay for loan A, that is going to go over here and making this $185. And the simplicity of setting it up this way is all I have to do is change that 185 and then drag that down until this loan is paid off. And you can see it is now paid off here, December of 2026 versus April of December or April of 2031. So we've saved about five years on loan repayment for this loan by simply rolling over $100 or adding $100 extra dollars to that payment. And now, again, I would do the same thing. I've paid off this loan, now I have $185 that I no longer have to pay for loan A or B, that is gonna roll over here. 185 plus 130 is gonna be 315. I'm gonna change this to 315. We're gonna watch the magic of this one too. And now I just need to drag that payment down. And you can see that, ooh, look at that. We're gonna be debt free. If these were your three loans and you're making these minimum payments, um, you're gonna be debt free in July of 2030, which is seven and a half years from when this would get set up compared to a, a lot longer than that. <laughs> so we're getting out of debt completely, um, probably, three, four, five years faster at minimum than you would have been without using a debt snowball spreadsheet and that's why I love it. The other option is the debt-free playbook which is a mini video course that I've made that it helps you set up your debt snowball spreadsheet but also gives you some more advanced tips and strategies to pay off your debt faster and goes into more specific strategies for paying off student loans and paying off credit card debt. The link is down in the description below and so go ahead and check that out.
So check out this next video on how to make a 50, 30, 20 budget to help you focus more of your energy on paying off debt and aligning your spending with your values.